the next book I got was All We Could Have Been. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am going to be doing my book con haul for you guys. I know I just released my vlog and I didn't realize how fast I was going to get it edited and stuff, but I literally just spent the whole, like a whole day just like working on it. And I know I like in the blog, I briefly talked about all the books I got, but I wanted to like have a structured way to talk about them. I feel like I didn't talk about, I think there was one book I didn't talk about getting. So I decided to film like an official book con haul for you guys. That way I can like more decisively show you guys the books I got and maybe like talk about them a little bit more. So yeah, that is my plan. So I'm just gonna get started. The first book I got was The Art of Breaking Things by Laura Sibson. So, um, I have been eyeing this book for a couple months. It came out last month. I think it was like either early to mid last month it came out. And I can't remember the full synopsis, but I know it's, it's essentially like about a girl who is, her dream is to like escape her life and go to art school. And so she's in her last year of high school and she's getting her ready to basically like pursue that dream and her mom rekindles a relationship with a past boyfriend and the thing is this past boyfriend was not respectful of the main character's boundaries and so she has to deal with i guess the trauma of that but also what happens next because of the fact that this guy is back in her life because of her mother. I don't know all the details, this is just like for briefly what I remember from the synopsis, but I know it sounded so interesting to me and I, I just wanted to see where this would go and see what happens. All We Could Have Been by T.E. Carter. I have been, again, eyeing this too as well for a couple of months and it was because the synopsis like really drew me in so it's essentially about a girl who she moves from like place to place to place because of the fact that she's running away from the judgment of her peers due to a past event that her brother was a part of and because of this event he is in jail and so it's her kind of i guess figuring out what it means not to run away. Her figuring out like, I think the difference between her and her brother and like how the things that her brother did doesn't define who she is kind of thing. I was really intrigued by this story and like I'm so excited to be able to pick it up. Um, I got this one and The Art of Breaking Things from The Strand. I got them both for $9, which I mentioned on the vlog. And I literally do not know how that happened because these two are both pretty new. This one came out last month as well. But I was really thankful that I was able to find these for so cheaply, so I'm happy. Okay, so the next book I got, I got from the booktube meetup. We had this thing where like you bring a book and then you take a book, so it was like a book exchange essentially. And this one, I've seen so many people like rave about, so I figured I would give it a try. I can't remember if this is actually YA or like just fiction or like new adult or something like that. I literally don't know. I just remember seeing so many people talk about it. And the book is Every Heart a Doorway by Sh Seanan McGuire. I just heard so many people talk about this and so I wanted to try reading it and seeing like what I think eventually. Uh, if this is YA or not, please let me know. Which like it doesn't matter if it is or not, but I would just I guess like to know. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. I don't know who left this because uh, I think we were supposed to leave a note, but there's no note in here, which is like totally fine. I don't even know if I left a note in my book, so who knows, but I'm kind of happy I was able to get my hands on this. All right, and the last two books are the two books that I got from BookCon. There were a couple more books that I technically wanted to get at BookCon. But the lines were kind of crazy and some of the things were really were ticketed and like 
with one book I didn't realize it was ticketed until I had to ask at the publisher's table which is like totally fine I was like you know what this is probably a sign that I don't need it I'll just get it when it comes out in the stores because I need to support the authors anyways so I'm excited about these two they were actually two of the books that I was eyeing and kind of wanted the most so I'm grateful that I was able to get them but they are well the first one is truly madly royally by Debbie Rigaud I was super excited to get my hands on this I actually saw this book or I read about it like a couple of months ago and I loved that it was basically like described as a princess diaries but like at least that's how like I've seen it kind of described by a few people like princess diaries except the main girl is black and not Anne Hathaway though I love Anne Hathaway she is a queen but I'm like super excited that this is the storyline especially because like from the cover it seems like the prince is white and like I love interracial romances like I love romances with like POC but I also really love interracial romances because like that's what I grew up with so I always love seeing that representation because I don't know it just like it makes me feel seen a little bit more because of the fact that like yes it's good to have straight POC romances it's good to have like the straight white romances but like you never like see a lot of the time the interracial stuff and I don't know I feel like there should be a there should be more of that I don't know maybe I'm not looking in the right places who knows but I'm always excited when I can find one and hopefully enjoy it and I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this especially because like I feel like royalty books are like really in right now hence Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins and um, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins they're pretty big right now and there are a couple of other royalty books I can't think of that I know like I've heard of or seen that are really big right now so I'm excited that like this is a thing so yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited. And the author was so sweet. Like she was just at the table signing the books and like she was, I felt bad because as we were going through the line, the people were like, don't talk to the people like for super long because like we need to keep the line moving. But she was like so sweet and I could tell she wanted to like talk to everyone and like actually have conversations with them. But it was hard because the people didn't want her to. She actually personalized the book for me, which I really appreciated too. And yeah, I'm just super excited to read this and review it and just talk about all of my thoughts so excited all right the last book i got was tell me everything by sarah emmy emmy i'm so sorry again about not knowing how to pronounce this last name i hate myself but i again saw this book a couple months ago i saw the synopsis and it like interested me it's essentially about a girl who's like super shy and i, I believe she doesn't have a lot of friends there's this app I guess that is really popular within her school and I don't remember like how I don't know how to describe it but like she like does a lot of good deeds through this app and then like it goes weird I guess I don't know but it sounded really interesting and I know this came out also last month and the author was actually signing at the same booth as Debbie Rigaud so I got to pick up like Truly Madly Royally in this book, which I was kind of hoping I would get to do. I wasn't sure if they would make us choose one or if like the, her signing was completely different, but just at the same booth, but we managed to get both of these. And I got this signed and personalized as well. And this author was also really sweet. And it seemed like she also really wanted to talk to people. And I just feel so bad that they weren't able to, but I also get it, but I also still feel bad. I'm just that type of person. But yeah, so this one I was excited to get as well. And I'm just, yeah, I'm excited that I got these contemporary. <laughs> All of the, most of these are contemporary. I think the, I think, I think the Every Heart Adore one is a fantasy, but I'm excited that I got all of these contemporary books, which I'm like, I probably don't need any more contemporary. Like I should probably get more fantasy in my life, but I don't care and I'm happy. So that was my book con, book haul thing. Hopefully you liked it. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. I don't know why I made that noise. If you guys have any comments on any of these books, if you've read them already, if you want to read them, if they're on your TBR, if, I don't know, if you didn't like them, just like tell me why down below or something like that. I just like love hearing your thoughts on books and interaction with you guys and all that kind of stuff if you're not good at commenting i'm just gonna say go ahead and leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my very good friend sylvia from wish fulfillment 
And if you guys want to keep seeing more beach for me, please subscribe down below. You guys are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.